Okay, my topic today about a new technique. I didn't see anybody talking about it in this conference, so maybe I'll be the first to talk about it. I always like to show the good and the bad work, the good work when you are well-educated, when you are talented, when you are updated, then you can have a good work, that, such the one you see in your left-hand side. These two cases are immediate implants, one done by a great practitioner and the other one done by a lousy practitioner who takes one night course and then they go and they do implant. I'm going to talk today about these uh, few points. First of all, we're going to talk about immediate implants since the topic today of the partial root extraction technique is belonging to immediate implant placement. And then going to talk about a few points about the drawbacks of immediate implant, and then what happens with immediate implant when you extract the tooth and then the uh, uh, accompanied uh, remodeling of the socket. Then we're going to talk about our technique, which is the partial root extraction technique. I'll show you some clinical cases of mine, and then the concluding remarks. When we talk about immediate implant, we have to talk about the four types of implant placement. The ITI consensus divided it into four types. Type 1, which is immediate implant, you extract the tooth, you put the implant. Type 2, early placement, which is after two months to uh, uh, four, four to eight weeks when you have only soft tissue healing. Type 3, again, still early placement, which is three to four months, you have partial ball healing. And then type 4, which is the late placement when the socket is totally, completely healed. Now. Everybody knows immediate implant, but let's just define it as I'm talking about this topic, so let's have it all complete. 